Hey guys, welcome back to Java Collections Framework series. In this video, we'll create a realist class example 3 that is how to access elements from an array list. Okay, let's go ahead and let's switch to the Eclipse ID and let's create this example. In Eclipse, let's go ahead and let's create a new class. Let's give a name as access elements from array list example something like this and choose public static wide main method and hit finish great now let me quickly write the comments what are the examples that i am going to demonstrate so in this example we will see how to check if an array list is empty using is empty method and we'll see how to find the size of an array list using size method and we'll also see how to access element at a particular index in array list using get method and then we'll see how to modify the element at a particular index in array list using set method okay we'll see the usage of these apis or these methods within examples in this video let's go ahead and let's quickly create a list object using array list list and then choose list from java.util package and type is string and give reference variable as top programming languages and then the implementation class is array list okay now we'll use is empty method to check whether the object is empty or not okay let me quickly write this is out here yeah so look at here I just written a string like is the top programming language is uh, empty okay and here I'm just calling is empty method on top programming languages object okay so let me quickly run the program and you, you can see the output here it should print true okay because uh, empty method is empty method returns true if this list contains no elements okay and this object has no elements hence is empty method returns true okay this is the usage of is empty method let me quickly add few programming languages to the list yeah here we go i have added c java c++ python and .NET programming languages to the array list class object okay great now we're gonna check the size of the list okay let me quickly use size method to check the size of the list so look at here i have provided this out here are the top and then object and just i'm calling size method on top programming languages object and then this followed by string like programming languages in the world so this will print here are the top and then size of the object and then programming languages in the world okay and great so let me quickly run the program and let's see how it prints the size yeah here we go we have added five elements to the list hence the size of the list is five okay and great so this is the usage of size method so whenever you want to check the size or length of the list that is a list object then you can use size method okay great now we'll see how to retrieve the element at a given index okay so let me uh, create a string variable here let's say best programming language and then i'm going to call top programming languages object and I'm going to use a get method to get uh, you know element at a particular index so look at here get method accepts the index as a method argument so here I'm going to pass index 1 so this will print uh, Java is a best programming language okay I'm going to just provide this out here and just print this object string object all right so let me run the program and let's see the output yeah here we go 
so best programming language is java so this is how we can get or we can retrieve element at a particular uh, location or particular uh, index okay so i'm i'm just pass index one to the get method so this get method will uh, in a return uh, the element that is java from the object okay great now let's say one more uh, example i want to retrieve a element that is python so here i'm going to say second programming second best programming language and then i can pass a index like uh, list index starts with the zero so this is index zero and this is one this is two this is three and this is four so if you want to retrieve python then you can pass index three here and let's go ahead and let's put a sys out and let's see the result okay great now let me run the program and let's see yeah here we go python is printed on a console okay now let's see how to modify an element at given index okay so look at here in a list we have five elements right and i'm going to modify this element so i'm going to replace this element that is dot net with c hash okay great let's call top programming languages object and this object provides set method so look at here set method accepts two parameters first is integer that is index and second is element let's go ahead and let's choose this set method and here we're going to pass index of uh, the element that we are going to modify so dot net element is present at index 4 so let's go ahead and let's pass for here and then element uh, that we are going to update that is c hash okay and let's go ahead and let's print the list to the console provide this out and then pass this object okay uh, let me run this program and we can able to see so look at here dot net is updated with c hash so this is how we modify the list using set method all right guys uh, we have seen the usage of is empty size get and set methods in this video we'll see more examples of a list class in next video